30 students at a summer camp were asked which sport they would like to play. The following Venn diagram was used to help organize this information. So notice that the diagram here shows that 10 students preferred baseball, 15 of those students preferred to play soccer, and recall that the part where these two circles overlap, the intersection, shows the students who preferred to play both baseball and soccer. Results of a survey of 50 students showed that 30 liked vanilla ice cream, 29 liked chocolate, and 17 liked both vanilla and chocolate. Now, I want you to pause the video for a moment and see if you can answer the questions of how many students like chocolate only? And how many of those 50 students like vanilla or chocolate? How many of the students surveyed like neither vanilla or chocolate? So pause the video, see if you can answer them, and when you're ready, go ahead and press the play button to continue. Okay, so let's begin. We want to first find the intersection. Recall it's the same as if you're placing items. Uh, I said before that start with the intersection part first. In other words, we want to know the students who like both vanilla and chocolate. And we can read here in the uh, sentence here, it says that 17 of them like both vanilla and chocolate. So let's go ahead and put the 17 there in the intersection area. Next, we want to find out how many uh, like vanilla. Now be careful, That's, this is the reason why we do the intersection first. Um, there were 30 students who like vanilla ice cream. Now that's also included in that 30 uh, is set the uh, 17 students you have here. So what you have to do is subtract 17 from 30 and what that would do is wean out uh, and give you the vanilla students only because recall some of these students in that 17 they also like vanilla as well so 30 take away 17 is going to give us 13 so there's 13 students who like just vanilla only uh, if you were to add those two numbers together, that is going to give you your full 30, 30 students who like vanilla ice cream. Okay. Next, I want to find out the students who like chocolate. So chocolate is the entire circle, which includes the 17. So what we have to do is take the number we were given for chocolate, 29 like chocolate subtract 17 from that so we can get the ones who are just chocolate only so that would be 29 take away 17 which is going to give me 12 if you add 17 and 12 you're going to get a total of 29 students who like chocolate lastly we want to find the students who, um, well, actually, we want to sign the students who doesn't like, who don't like either. Here's how you find that out, real quick. All you've got to do is add up all the students you have so far that likes vanilla um, or chocolate. Uh, so if we add the 13 plus 17 plus 12, that gives us 42. We don't have all our students. How many students was there total? Yes, there were 50 students in total. So we have to then go 50, take away 42. And that's going to give us eight students. Now, they're not in the vanilla and they're not in the chocolate. So they're somewhere in the universal set. And these are those students what we will call who don't prefer either one of those. 
So now let's see if we can answer these questions. Question number one, how many students like chocolate only? So we have to go to the region where it's just chocolate only. We don't want the vanilla people in there, so we don't get the intersection. So there were 12 students who like chocolate only. How many of them like vanilla or chocolate? So either one. When you see that or, that means it's going to be vanilla or chocolate, which is the entire circle. So again, we're adding that number of the 13 plus the 17 plus the 12. So there were a total of 42 students who like either vanilla or chocolate. Last question, how many of the students surveyed like neither vanilla or chocolate? And that was these odd ones on the here, the eight, who did not prefer vanilla or chocolate. And there you have it, interpreting a two-circle Venn diagram.